How many of you have had a cold or a fever and had immediately thought of that home remedy that your grandmother or your mother used to give you? I don't know, maybe that chicken soup or chamomile tea for the nerves or honey and lemon for the throat? Well, in the Colombian Amazon, the Witota tribe use clay whenever they have digestive problems. Have you ever thought of drinking clay if you have a stomach ache or if your lunch was too rich? No, right? But these people have clay all over the place. And I thought that was fascinating as a geologist. So sure enough, I found my way down to the Amazon. And I worked with these elders, and they taught me about clay minerals. Then later on, I kept on reading, and I found another very inspiring story. This is from Africa. Liné Brunet de Corso, she was a humanitarian in Africa, and she thought that clays could be used for more than stomach pain. She thought that they could heal eating flesh bacteria. So this research is really exciting. Borrelia ulcer is a disease that affects thousands all over Africa and the tropical world, and it's a flesh-eating bug that could eat your flesh down to your bone. It's so debilitating, excruciating pain, and even shameful. But Lina de developed a protocol with two clays, and she was able to heal the skin, completely repair the, the, the lives of the people. So when she tried to find money to found a hospital, she was asked to provide a scientific basis, and there was none. So I thought, like, well, this is something that we can definitely work with. And my advisor, Linda Williams, she started that research with the women in Africa. Then I came to ASU because I wanted to continue studying healing clays. I brought a sample of my clay. And sure enough, it was one of the hundreds of clays that we have tested that has antibacterial properties. So I was really lucky. <laughs> and I had a PhD project, and that's what I'm working on, antibacterial clays. Not that we are going to Mars and finding clays all over the place. I think clay minerals for, for medicines can be really the future. Would it be great if we have that medicine in place already when we get to Mars? And the possibilities are endless, really. We could use clay for remediation of streams or polluted sites or as materials. Um, so that's the thought that I want to leave you with. What if you open your cabinet and instead of a, a thousand pills, you have small rocks and clays and powders from all over the place. <laughs> Thank you.